Stuart, you want to eat? How's that? Yeah, come in. Hey. Dragon lady out? Uh, you could say that. Liza and Colby moved out. And left you alone with Stuart? Why? So I can decide if I want to keep him. Okay, Ryan, calm down. I am not here to get in off. She's gonna plead guilty. What? It was the only way that I agreed to take this case. Look, I wanted to, I wanted to help out Adam and Scott, but he refused to fight unless I represented Annie, so I put it to her and I told her to come up with a solution and she did. And she did, the solution was to plead guilty. That's right, she's going to confess to everything, manipulating Adam, exploiting his and Scott's grief. And, and you believe this? There's a recorded confession, Ryan, she knows she's going down. At least this way she can help out Adam. Listen, I gotta get to court, just relax. This nightmare's almost over. Okay, so you're actually working with Adam? No, I'm working for Liza. Look, this is a chance for me to work on a high-profile case and hopefully make a name for myself. Yeah, I get that. It just happens to hit a little close to home. Well, yeah, because it is. But look, JR, I'm doing this for us, for our family. Not that you're in remission. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm in a hurry to start our life, aren't you? Yeah, but Working I... this case will help us do that. Okay. Okay? Okay, um... Well, do you, do you want to stay and watch me work? I wouldn't want Adam to think that oh, I'm here. Here's what he him. thinks. Come on, just be here for your Uncle Stuart. For Uncle Stuart. And for us. Thank you for these. Yeah, seriously, you're a lifesaver. I don't suppose this means that, um... Uh, I've come to love and accept my new stepmom. Sorry. I, I still hate that you're with Annie. But it, it doesn't mean I hate you or that I want you locked up for what happened to Uncle Stuart. Hopefully it won't come to that. Uh, better not. Things are beyond crazy right now. Mom and I have uh, moved out of the apartment and we're like this close to uh, losing the baby. Things have a way of working out, honey. You'll see. Why do I believe you when you say that? Well, that's, that's simple. I'm your father. <laughs> uh, how about a uh, favor? They're very militant about phone calls in this place, and I really want to get in touch with your mother. Here, um, use my cell phone. I'll uh, go distract the officer out there. Hello, Annie. It's me. Oh, I've been so worried. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. As soon as we get to uh, make bail, I'm going to be over there and see you. No, you, you've been at the station all night. You should... You should go home and rest. You don't want me there? Adam, we both know how this, this is going to go for me. I, I just think it's time we accept the inevitable. I'm not going to have you thinking that way. You are not going to prison, Annie. No. How is that even possible? Do you trust me, Annie? Always. Well, don't stop now. <laughs> Where will you go? Why, I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet, Dan. I just, you know... I just know that I can't stay here. You're disappointed. Well, <clears throat> I'm not disappointed in you. I've watched you this whole past year with nothing but pride. Nothing but pride. Where you fought for Amanda and your son. Well, you know that he's not really my son, right? I was never really Trevor's father. Oh, come on. In every way that counts, you were. You still are. I mean, it's the same as me and your brother. Yeah. Except Ted's bi biological wasn't anything like David Hayward, right? <laughs> Ted's was Ray Gardner. You tell me uh, which one is worse. Oh, I mean... You're a better man than me, Dad. Uh, you always were. You love that little boy? You know, sometimes love is not really enough.
Every time I look at Amanda, Bob, I, I just see her with. I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I don't want to make this any harder for you. Well, that would be impossible. All right, so. Uh, there is, however, the one thing that I, I should let you know. Uh, what? Your mother and I are uh, making plans to retire. Yeah. Think you're moving out of town. Really? What? Mm. You love Pine Valley. I do, and I'll always miss it, but uh, time for change. Dad, that's huge. What about the hospital? Well, that is where you were supposed to come in. Used to have plans to stay on here with a man to raise a family. So every time I looked at you, I saw the next generation. So you wanted me to pick up where you left off? I don't think even Jake knows where he's headed. But I was hoping if you spoke with him, you could get him to stay. I'm the reason he's leaving. No, oh, Amanda, the reason he's leaving is right there. Yeah, of course it is. I guess it's always my fault, right? Yeah, that's right, Dave. If you hadn't cooked up your sadistic little scheme, none of this would be happening. My sadistic little scheme? I'm not the one who faked a child's death. No, you'd rather stick to the moral high ground. Force a woman to rent out her womb. Jake and Amanda could have said no. And given up to any shot they had at a life together. Yeah, what a deal. You had him by the throat and you know it. Listen, he's still here. Do me a favor, find him and talk with him. God willing, you turn this thing around. I'm sorry, Amanda. I'm sure this must be difficult for you. Difficult. I am done. I am done with you and this house. Oh, wait a minute. Um, that's not how it works, Amanda. You signed a contract. I don't care about the stupid contract, okay? You take me to court if you have to, but I am not staying one more minute here. Right. And what about Trevor? He comes with me. 